Have you been in an Indian kitchen and actually, you know, cooked? I live in a bleeding Indian kitchen. Why do I need to go to one in a restaurant? No, 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 but in terms... <laughs> That's what I do you, you get paid for it if you do it in a restaurant. <laughs> but I've spent a childhood, my whole childhood, watching my mum and my aunties cook. Really? Oh, yeah, from when I was really little. Is that how the inspiration of the Kumars, is that how it sort of arrived? Yeah. From the family point of view? Absolutely. Because yeah, that is yeah. hysterical. I grew up surrounded by very strong, funny women, you know, completely away from the cliché of what people think Indian women are about. And food was a huge part of my childhood. Food is a huge part of Indian culture. It's how we connect. And it's... Yeah. I think for my parents as well, it's how they keep home alive. When we were little, it was like soul food. Indian food was like the living connection to back yep. home, you know. That's what food should be about. Food's about love, isn't it? Family. Food is love. In fact, I couldn't love anyone that didn't love food. Yep. I... Really? No. I don't like hot food. No? I know that uh, seems blasphemous for an Indian, but actually I think a lot of... What people mistake for curry... Yep. It's just a whole lot of chilli and not much else. And I think good Indian cooking has layers of flavour in it. Yeah. Is that because you get rings thing? Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> See, it's, it's quite common in chefs, you know that? Is it? Yeah? And chefs love curry, normally Friday night. Yeah. No, we fried that. But you see, that's the cliche. It's like, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll come out of the pub, we'll have a ruby murray, we'll eat something really hot that'll impress our mates, and we'll yeah. throw it up on the pavement outside afterwards. And that's quite an insult to what is a fabulous I know, and I know. complex it is an insult. cuisine, really. Yeah, but that's that legendary sketch, isn't it? Going yeah, for an going English. Going out for an Indian Absolutely. and sort of overindulgent and going yeah. out for an English, yeah. which I have to say was one of the funniest sketches I've ever seen. What are you doing? Can I come and see? Yeah, of course you can. So, vegetables are in, butternut squash, Courgettes and aubergine. Yeah. Yeah. Then I put my almond paste in with the ginger, shallots and garlic. Almond paste, that's clever. Yeah. I'm going to add my lentils now. Which ones are those, then? Now, these are the pre-lentils. Pre? Pre, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, after that, come High back. wind factor, I so, would say, I know. this dish. Yeah. Warn your wife. So, yeah, I know. Bloody hell. <laughs> are you working on a new series, the Kumars? No. Well, we've oh. done seven. Yep. And I suppose there is something about going out on a high. Yeah. You don't want to hang around to people think, oh, God, not them again, so... Well, it's great, though. Yeah, it huh? was fun. That sort of voice you put on, how long does it take you to sort of, you know, get up to speed with that? Well, it's quite instantaneous, actually. Sexy grandma. <laughs> so what are you going to do to yours next? Oh, Is that yes. it? Oh, I don't know. Let me have a look. No? How many Asian mothers does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. Don't worry about me. I'll sit in the dark. <laughs> hey! No? All right. See, Face yourself. That's lovely. Uh, that looks all right. Mm, and you see, it doubles as a face mask, because you can just put your face so, on <laughs> and, steam. and steam your pores. And steam away. Yeah. So I'm going to just finish mine with a little touch more of coconut milk, a couple of tablespoons, freshly chopped coriander, and then squeeze a fresh lemon in there. Then what are you doing now? You're putting your garlic in there? Yeah, it's very simple. It's just garlic, tomatoes. Yep. And what do you call that, darling? A tarka. So I think it means, like, a sauce or yep. a topping, maybe? I don't know. Right, they both simmer now for 20 minutes, then our blind tasters get their hands on it, and then I'm going to win. Simple as that.